What is the deal with Cousin Chris? Can this guy get laid? Will this guy grow up? Will he ever grow up and get laid? I shouldn't say who's going to grow up because I still got a fucking hat on. So the thing is, what we have here is a failure to communicate. That's exactly what we have. Chris has a failure to communicate with me. I have a failure to communicate with him. He has a failure to communicate his penis to a vagina. Now the thing <laughs> is, he's always bashing Larry. He comes on and he goes, Larry's a fag. Larry's this, Larry's that. Don't bash Larry. Don't bash Jared. Don't bash the team. The team is together for a reason. To make me look good. The thing is... <laughs> no. The reason we have a team is because we all have one common goal. And that's to stick it to the man. Don't let do the it jumping off a cliff. Now the thing is... We're probably going to go head out towards the front of the frickin' mass bar. There's nothing going on in the city of McPherson tonight. Nothing. No special guests. No people running around with their clothes off. No naked people. No boobs. No guys showing their penises. Yeah. Nothing. We don't want to see that. We don't want to see that unless we're Larry. But the thing is, shouldn't say these things about Larry. Now, I'm headed back towards the front of the NASCAR. bar. And look at this. There's nothing going on in the NASCAR. bar. So what we might end up doing is I might go get me a pop. I might just go down and get me a cola, a drink, a drinky, at the quick shop. Because there's really nothing else to do. We got cowboys running around. They're getting ready to do the damn thing. They're going to come beat the cowboy pets out of me. As you drive around in this town, there's nothing to do. Absolutely nothing to do. Do I walk to the convenience store? Or do I have someone take me in their car and then I just talk? What exactly do I need to do? We'll let Jared decide. What do you want to do? Do you want to walk or do you want to take walk. the car? You want to walk? Let's walk. Only... I'm going to cross the street and we're going to walk this way, just for some excitement. Now the band, I think, is taking a break. They might still be playing. If that is the case, I believe the band is taking a break. Like if the band is taking a break, what we do is we just walk into the bar with a hat on. And I just set up shop that way. Because the thing is... What we're going to do here is we're going to say hi to everybody. The bottom line is, we've got the hat, we've got the people, we got the crap. The bottom line is this, I have a Mexican hat. You do not. None of you people at home have Mexican hats. If you do, put them on. We're going to go run to the convenience store get me a pop. So we'll walk backwards. We'll walk this way. Run past an ass, folks. Run past the ass. I'm gonna walk this way, past the patio. There's nobody, there's two people on the patio. That's it. Now as I continue to walk this way towards what has commonly been referred to over time as I don't know, something. I move this way. I continue to walk backwards. Look at that. Great American steel right there. Yay! Yay! But um now we're just getting heckled. Ah! Now we're just getting heckled by the people of McPherson. At this point, Chris would insert his his commentary and would say, "That's why McPherson is fucking useless." Now, I don't know what that is coming this way. Hopefully, there's someone that will blow me, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So the thing is, is what we do is the cops are always watching. The cops are always watching me. They're always they're always trying to get it figured out. They don't understand what's going on here. They don't understand Jiggy Jag TV. They don't understand that it's not on community access television. They don't understand it's not the lowest rated show on access because it got kicked off there because I offended non-Caucasian racial groups. I denigrated women. I made use of hazardous flammable materials. I performed exhibitions of speed. And... Uh, the other one. 
I, uh, I hung Barack Obama in effigy. No, I didn't do that. That was Sarah Palin. That was a guy in California. Now we keep walking. We're obviously walking and talking still. I got nothing. There's nothing going on. Nothing going on in the city of McPherson. Absolutely nothing. Why is this? Is it because it's Halloween? Is it because it's the most boringest place on the planet? That's why me and Jerry probably are be. <laughs> is it because my wife used to live here? What is it? Now, as I continue to make my way towards the convenience store to purchase me a soda, God knows why. Probably because we need something to do. <laughs> the most boringest episode of Jiggy Jank TV is this episode. You can't spice it up anymore. You can't. There's nothing to do. There's absolutely nothing to do. Look around, there's nothing to do. Nothing. Mm. So the only thing we have left, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. I believe the president said that. I don't know who it was. Kennedy. It was Kennedy. Not, not John Kennedy. Not Mr. Kennedy. JFK. And he got assassinated. Just like Obama. We won't talk about that here. I'm <laughs> making that a prediction. If I'm correct, I will retire from this show. I'll never do another episode of Jiggy Jake TV if you get shot. Now, Chris will never do another episode of Jiggy Jake TV if he gets shot. If Obama gets shot, he will never do another episode of Jiggy Jake TV. Now, the cops are moving in slowly, trying to see what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. As long as, no, as long as the camera stays on me, as long as I continue to walk backwards, I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Do they arrest me? Do they say, get that Jigman Freud, subvert him, put him in the pokey. I haven't done anything wrong. I don't, I've got a permit. You know where the permit is? It's in my pants, it's my penis. Now, what we're gonna do, we're going to make our way. McPherson really has nothing going on tonight. There is nothing going on. Terribly, terribly boring. There it is. Right there. They spiced it up. What was that they spiced up? What they throw? They threw a uh, bottle of paint. They threw a bottle of paint to Chickman Troy. Maybe they want me to paint the town red. <laughs> Maybe they don't want me to paint the town red. Maybe they want me to just walk around and have no adventures and have nothing going on. There's a water bottle. There's nothing going on in this town. There is seriously nothing at all going on. Nothing. There's a loose rock in the ground. I cannot believe that we have wasted tape. Well, it's not, wa not wasted tape, because we talked to the Joker earlier. <laughs> there is physically, <laughs> mentally, and emotionally nothing going on. Look at this. Nothing. Nothing at all. There's people getting gas. That's it. Oh my god. Look at this. Can I even go across the street? Is that possible?